Exclusive pictures in the Friday lightning round of Donna, Texas, a facility there packed with migrants, uh, packed just like we saw it uh, months ago. The mayors in several towns along the Texas, uh, the southern border in Texas, uh, saying they're at a breaking point right now. They cannot handle it anymore. We're back with the panel. Uh, Katie, these images keep coming every day, and you add on top of that the concerns about COVID in that area. Yeah, I just think about the fact that the Biden administration has set up the Border Patrol to fail in this instance. There are policies in place. They were under put in place under the Trump administration to stop this from continuing. And the idea that the White House continues to berate uh, Governor, Texas Governor Greg Abbott for a rise in COVID cases in his state with images like this and having the Justice Department suing the, te the, the state of Texas for trying to prevent COVID positive uh, illegal immigrants from traveling across the state uh, makes it pretty clear that the administration doesn't have any plan or intention to stop this from continuing. Democrat and Republican calling it a crisis down there in Texas along the border. All right, I want to turn to New York. Uh, new Quinnipiac poll out about Governor Cuomo, uh, who's under fire. Uh, Cuomo's handling of his job as governor approved 28 percent, disapproved 63 percent. Should Cuomo resign? The question reads, yes, 70 percent, no, 25 percent. Does Cuomo hang on, Juan? Uh, yes, he's hanging on, and he seems defiant. Uh, it's it's really bizarre. I mean, every major Democrat now has called for him to leave. Uh, so he has few allies at that level. What's keeping him in power is fear in the state assembly. I think you have assemblymen considering impeachment, but aware that if he does hang on, and he seems intent on doing so, he will seek retribution, that their districts could suffer, and, of course, they don't want that to happen. Impeachment would be months away. You have to drag him from Albany, it seems to me, kicking and screaming. I thought, I thought, Brett, you know what, he was going to use some of that time between when the report was being prepared and when the report was released to arrange a sort of a classy exit to say, you know, I'm sorry, I made some terrible mistakes, maybe I didn't recognize it, but he didn't do that. He is just in there yeah. dug in. President Biden and others, to your point, calling for him to resign and step down. All right, winners and losers. Bill, first a winner. Um, the winner uh, is, of course, the person who won the Olympic gold at the uh, in for wrestling, uh, Tamira, and who gave then this tremendous speech talking about how she loved her country and so forth. Uh, I think it was a big uplift for a lot of people. And then the loser of the week, I'd say, is the United States Constitution, with Joe Biden taking an action to extend this, this moratorium on evictions, even after he admitted he didn't have the authority to do so. All right, lightning winner and loser, Katie. Uh, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.